This is Kathy from Gadget Stop 321 and in today's video I'm taking a look at Robert Auster Cafe Crema. I'll be testing it in a variety of pins and nib sizes ranging from a Pilot Extra Fine to a 1.5 stub nib and I'm going to begin with the Extra Fine. This is a Pilot 78G Plus with a steel extra fine nib. And it's not scratchy. The tines aren't catching on the paper, but it's not pleasant either. So I'm just going to put on this one, not scratchy. And the readback on it is not, not super legible. It's a little too fine. I know it's an extra fine, but sometimes the legibility of the ink in that extra fine is a little better than this. Okay, now I've got a Pilot Prera with a fine nib. This doesn't feel a whole lot different than the Extra Fine. It's, it feels, I can tell that the tipping is just slightly larger so it should be a little smoother but it still just feels dry even though you know I got a little ink smear there it's putting ink down but it feels dry on the paper next I've got a Pilot Custom 74 with a 14 karat gold fine nib Now this feels pleasant. It's smooth, but it's not glassy smooth, like the nib's not sliding all over the place. Uh, there's a little bit of almost like rubbery feedback where it gives you some control. I like this. That's a pleasant writing experience. Okay, next I have a Caveco Percao all black with a medium nib. Oh, I zoomed. I was trying to focus and I zoomed out. Okay. Uh-oh, a bit of a hard start there. And this isn't the first paper that I've experienced that hard start. Normally I would just go back and rewrite that line on the K, but I left it blank just to remind us that this pen and ink combo is prone to some hard starting. It's decently wet, and it was pleasant once it started writing. but it did hard start. Okay, next I've got a Pilot Metropolitan with a cursive medium nib. This is pleasant. Hold on, it, I don't know, it's acting like it's wanting to get a little drier, like the ink's not wanting to catch up. There's a pleasant amount of feedback, but I just don't like the way it looks. There's, I don't know. It, it looked nicer here at the beginning. I was getting some of the darker tones, but by the time I got to the end, it was all just the pale tones. Oh, 
let's see. Next I've got a Nemesine Singularity with a .6 stub. As usual, nice, pleasant, smooth. I like that. Getting some the darker tones like I got at the beginning here with the cursive medium. And finally, I've got a Jin Hao 750 X750 with a 1.5 stub nib. All right, and while that dries, we'll take a look at some other papers in my little ARC notebook. Uh, I had the same situation with the extra fine. In fact, it was a little more legible on this on this absorbent arc paper because the ink will spread out a little bit but it's still it wasn't scratchy but it didn't feel entirely pleasant the prera again just felt dry even the custom 74 it was you can tell it's putting down more ink a lot more ink but it felt dry on the paper it wasn't pleasant the Caveco Percao was nice on this paper, and it, do, it didn't actually hard start on this one. I thought it did. Maybe it's the Rhodia paper, but there was some nice shading. It's kind of cloudy here. I don't know if you can hear the thunder rumbling in the background. That looks good right there. So nice shading. Um, on the Metropolitan, usually I'm... The last few times I've been using this cursive medium nib, I really liked it. I don't know how I feel about it, which tells me I didn't like it, but it, I didn't completely hate it. Mm. So I like the Percao the best. Let's see. The Nemesine wasn't bad. It was just maybe a little too wet. Um, the stub nib, you can see a little spreading where the ink spread but it's a pleasant color it is it's the color of crema in fact <coughs> excuse me before i came up here to film this video uh, in my subscription feed i watched james hoffman's channel about coffee and he had a video about crema and this that color nails it that is the color of crema and on the Rhodia, the extra fine was scratchy, the Prera was dry again, but on good paper, the Custom 74 was nice. So if you're on good fountain pen friendly paper, um, a nice wet fine will be okay. The, the Caveco looked nice, but here's on smooth paper, that's where I'm having the trouble with the hard starts. And let me see, even on, like, on the cursive medium nib, the P, you can tell on the downstroke, didn't, the ink didn't entirely grab the paper. And on my 1.5, that downstroke should have been a lot wider, but the ink did not want to grab this slick paper. All right, let's see. On my 20-pound copy paper... Um, the two fine nibs were the best, and even the Pilot Metropolitan, it was okay. The wetter nibs, look how the ink just soaks into the paper so quickly, no ink even smears. So the wetter nibs were not very pleasant. Um, in my Loitch term with off-white paper, I went through and... Did my writing sample and I saw that hey that's a little dry so I dipped my pen again I 
for all of these writing tests, I just dip the pens in ink. And I dipped it again, and that came out really nice. I hope y'all can see that okay. I hope you're getting enough light. There's like a halo. It's a, it's a medium brown with a halo of darker brown. It's not exactly sheen, but just a halo of darker brown ink. That looks really nice. And so on my Tomoe River paper, you can see up here, I used that 1.5 stub. You can maybe see that same effect. And there might be a little bit of gold sheen, just the, the tiniest amount on those wetter nibs. And so it looks like on good quality paper, the broader wetter nibs are the way to go. And then on the poor quality paper, the finer, drier nibs are the way to go. Yeah. All right. If you found this video helpful, uh, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.